guys welcome back <clears throat> hope everyone's doing well um, today's video is gonna be a little bit different I kept going over or really watching videos on how like things I should do because you know I'm I've been doing it for almost a year but I still really I think I only lightly dabbled for most of it and then I only recently started taking it more seriously so I've been looking and everything's, what's your story? What's your story? What's your brand? What's your brand? And I'm like, I'm kind of lost. I know what I want to do with it. But anyway, my story, I thought, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to tell my story. And anyway, how I got started in makeup was like, even when I was a child, I loved makeup. I was always playing in my mom's box of makeup she didn't want anymore. And I would always be trying to make everything like on my face flawless as I could and I was and all throughout school I was a terrible student I was diagnosed with ADD and I really personally thought that was a load of crap <laughs> I didn't really believe it I didn't really think anything was wrong with me I really feel that isn't I don't know I just I didn't get it I, I don't I do know why I do know why but I'm not gonna say why I thought it was a little crap anyway I felt terrible about myself 90% of the time growing up it was awful so the only time I felt good really was when I put makeup on so they put me on medication I think through elementary school through middle school and I was like no I don't want to go back on it and so um, when I, you know, when I got out of high school, I just kind of, flew. I tried going to school and I just, part of that was me being young and I just wanted to party. The other part of that was I knew I was a terrible student and I was going to struggle so bad and I knew I just couldn't go on any more medication because that's the worst kind of medication. Uh, it's like it steals your soul. <laughs> like you're just gone. So... Anyway, I just did some really stupid things. I was really irresponsible. I didn't know what I wanted to do. God help my parents. They tried to help me figure it out. I didn't know. And at that point, I still love makeup, but I really didn't think at that time there was... It's not like it is now. Like, back then, you just had, like, the... All you had were, like, celebrity makeup artists. You just really didn't have a whole lot of these local people that really wanted to dive into it it really wasn't I feel like it really wasn't open there wasn't or where I was from there wasn't a good starting place so uh, I read that's all I really wanted to do was just makeup um, and then I got married and when I got married they had put a mat counter in my in my town and this was the first time I'd ever heard of Mac this was back in 2002 or three Ah, this is gonna be bad. That's why I didn't like that lip gloss. I'm sorry. <laughs> I put on a lip gloss and I was like, why do I never wear it? Because it's the most beautiful lip gloss. <laughs> now I know why. Because it keeps jumping off on my teeth. Anyway, so I started purchasing and buying a little bit here, a little bit there. And I kept playing. And I didn't just play to make myself pretty. I realized I was actually trying to create something. And that's when I think I was 27 I was it was before I was 30 27 28 29 somewhere in there and I realized that I was really a creative person I can't draw for crap <laughs> and you know but I do like to create I love to create and that's what I do with makeup is I try to create with it um, not necessarily to make myself feel better or look pretty or anything like that but I just like seeing what I can take and what I can make out of it so and at that time as far as I knew that did not pay like or it was hard to get into that or I felt like it was hard and who was gonna train me and you know if nobody was gonna take me how was I gonna learn and grow so they tried I tried different things I tried going back to school it just I'm just not a good student so I couldn't and then finally I kept buying for I kept buying makeup kept buying makeup and at that point I got divorced and which was 
<sighs> the most freeing feeling and I know you're not supposed to feel that way about divorce but I didn't realize I was what an emotional prison I was in until I until that ended and believe me I made my own mistakes in that it wasn't just it wasn't one way it was two ways so um, anyway so, so when I, I moved back home and I kept and I kept asking the mat counter like are you hiring and then they're like yeah fill out the application and like I want to say like maybe a year and a half or two years went by I kept trying it kept trying and then they finally called me back for a tryout and I tried out and I made it and essentially that's where I got my start was I wasn't there I wasn't there for very long I want to say maybe like Two years maybe I, I'm not really sure I'm kind of fuzzy because I had a lot of issues back then and basically after that I everybody I worked with I felt was way better than I was very insecure about it <laughs> very very insecure and so but I kept trying and <laughs> I'm sorry about that guys my I've got these neighbors outside they don't give two craps I can't film on the weekday on the weekend days anymore because they are so freaking loud they have zero consideration for anyone else and it's the one guy that doesn't have a leg that thinks he is the hottest thing since that God has put on the earth oh and he is so not oh my god he's kind of gross actually he gives me the creeps anyway I'm not really sure where I'm at this point so anyway um that's where I was really insecure being in Mac and but I kept trying I kept playing and and at that point I still didn't quite know where I wanted to go with it I didn't know what I wanted to do and and then I kind of just had a breakdown and when I had that breakdown I like literally let everything in my life go I let my family go I let my house go, my car go, my clothes go, like everything. I was homeless for a few months. I ended up staying in the Salvation Army. And FYI, if you ever feel like you need to make a donation to anywhere, donate to the Salvation Army. Army. They are 100% legit. They are actually amazing. So it's amazing, amazing. So keep that in mind. So anyway, so I stayed there for a few months. And while I was in there, and really... I some people thought it was like prison and for me I kind of enjoyed it because it was a lot of structure and it was a lot of structure I didn't have I didn't realize how much I needed structure until I got in there so I kept trying to find a job and I couldn't find a job while I was in there and finally they, they give you an X amount of days and if you don't then they'll scoot you out <laughs> so I had trouble I like I went everywhere and I had trouble and couldn't find anything and so before that happened I had called my family I'd made amends with my family and then I called my brother and uh, he was like okay you can come stay with me but he set me on guidelines and he he told me he said you're gonna get retested for ADD because I believe that is 90% of the reason of your problems and I was like okay and so I did I did what he said we had we butted heads sometimes but nobody on this planet knows me better than he does. I, I don't know. I, I love him so much. Like, it's, anyway, he is the best brother anyone can have. I got the best, top notch. So, I moved, I moved my, I got my stuff and I moved it up here. And we got, I kind of got back on my feet. I did go get tested. I'm still ADD. <laughs> like, I will still test positive to this day for that. So we went and we tried a medication. The thing about those medications is you have to do them. You have to take one for 30 days. And then if that doesn't work, you got to try another one. And those things still, it doesn't matter. Like, it kills your personality. It just kills you on the inside. Like, there is nothing left. You're just literally a shell. And then they're like, try antidepressants. The same thing happened. I did not like it, so I got off and I didn't go back. 
what I have found that has helped me is having two jobs. If I stay busy enough, those little things don't come back so much. But if you, one thing you'll notice about me is if I'm focusing and I get interrupted, it's like, <laughs> that is not a smooth transition for me. But I've heard that's normal with that. I've also heard that you're very impulsive and you have a hard time controlling your emotions. When I actually started looking at all the things that are associated with that, I have almost every single one of those things. And I was like, oh my God, it's real. So I tried controlling it with my diet, which I mean, some of that work, I eat less sugar. When I eat chocolate now, it's dark chocolate. It's not milk chocolate, but I've got the world's worst sweet tooth. So Anyway, I found the best thing was probably working out and and uh, work, maybe working two jobs. But we know that I don't work out because I'll start working out and I'll get gung ho about it, and then usually I always end up getting sick like a, with something. And then once I try to recuperate, <laughs> I have zero motivation to go back. So. I didn't so we all know that I don't work out so working two jobs usually is what's best for me I don't do well when I'm bored so going back when I moved up there I got hired on at Sephora and I loved it for a long time and at that point I thought I still needed to grow artistically so I was like I wanted to be this big bad makeup artist <laughs> and at that you know at that time and I was like but at that I didn't I didn't see where I was learning things that I had already known and so I was like I was getting bored and different things were happening and it really wasn't um, it really wasn't Sephora it was just me it was really me thinking I wanted this but not really sure what I wanted at the same time so I quit and I tried something different and that didn't work out. So I ended up going back to the Egg and I and I worked there for seven years. That was another good help because I'm so, you have to focus so much on waiting tables that that really helped me like with my ADD and stuff like that. So anyway, <laughs> the Egg and I got bought out by First Watch and, or they merged. I'm not really sure exactly what that story is. So seven years later, Egg and I is gone, first watch comes in, and I am absolutely miserable in there. Just miserable in there. And so like I decided to take my paid vacation, put in a two weeks, <laughs> and do the best I could. So I was like, so while I was on vacation, that's when I ended up with the job that I have now. So at the I and I also kind of needed a break from makeup. I, I don't know, sometimes like, as I, again, it goes back to where I really didn't, I really wasn't paying attention to myself and what I wanted. So um, towards the end when I started at this current, the current job I have, um, I was, it just hit me, I was like, why don't you start making videos like all these other people? And I'll give you that the beauty industry or community is like an oversaturated place like there are so many people but at the same time I believe not everybody is the same so everybody has something different to offer different people with different needs and whatnot so I believe that there's a place for everybody I don't necessarily want to be like super huge <laughs> but I would like to be I would like for people to know enjoy what I do so I started doing that and that's when I realized that my biggest passion in cosmetics is really helping others feel better look better you know learn things if they don't know let me help you I, I like that's what it came boiled down to it had nothing to do with artistry it came my biggest passion now is helping others so I went back to Sephora, I think we all know, and I got hired and I was supposed to onboard and then that's whenever all the doors shut down. And I'm still so excited because when I can go back because I, I now don't need that one thing. I now know that I am open enough because that whole past experience taught me to look at all my options and to like be open to things because maybe what I want in life isn't what God wants for my life. So 
that's when I was like, okay, I'll go back. Cause now what I want out of what I do, Sephora is what can offer that for me. Like I can able to help people get what they need and make sure that they're comfortable in doing that. And now I have an avenue. So if they need extra help, they can come here and see me. And cause there it's like, go, 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 go. They don't have, you don't spend 20 minutes with a client anymore you gotta touch go touch go touch go so this is a good opportunity for at giving them the additional help that they need if they need it so I feel more fulfilled in this position right now knowing exactly what I want to do with it and I have really never been happier with makeup <laughs> So now I started filming videos and I'm loving the editing process. I'm loving learning about cameras, lighting, thumbnails. I mean, just every so much. So I may not have an exact brand or if you want to name the brand, it would be help, <laughs> helping others. But um, really just that is my story. That is how I ended up here. It's kind of condensed. It was a really hard road, lots of crying. Cry, 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 cry. I cry all the time. <laughs> lots of learning experiences. I made some huge, terrible mistakes, but there is always, there's always an other end to it. Just because you make a mistake doesn't mean you are a mistake. And it doesn't mean that your whole life will be a mistake because you made one or two or three or four or five mistakes. This, until God ends this, in this earth, we all have time like we we're on his timetable but we have time so if you ever make a mistake in life don't ever think for a second that's it I'm done because there is always 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 redemption and he will take whatever dream and manifest it to his plans so everyone's happy <laughs> so it's just crazy to me that I thought I wanted to be this big bad superstar makeup artist but really that wasn't it at all I really just wanted to be knowledgeable to help others to give it back so <laughs> with that being said I'm gonna let you guys digest all of this and if you do have any comments questions or concerns please please leave them down below I would lo I love reading comments if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you're interested in subscribing and you have not please do so um, I would love to have you and make sure you ring your bell to get the notifications for my videos and I will see you guys later in my next video.